my name is Jones and I own the site 3dgamerbob.com now today we, we are going to review the ATI Radeon HD 2900 XT it is the his brand so his owns it and it, it comes with Crossfire which is um, a device that you get to enable special power from the card. It also is a 512 uh, um, M megabit card with GDDR3 technology. It is HDCP ready for it, so it's ready for any of your HDCPs that you have lying around your house. It comes with DVI and Vivo, which is a technology for high definition video, allowing much better smoother playback. It also comes with a game by Valve, um, and you get all three details inside. <laughs> it is also compatible with Windows Vista, so it will run under Windows Vista. It is also an ATI Radeon card. Now, if we take a look at this, you'll see that it has a dual link DVI. That means it has two DVI slots on the card. This means that you can connect to two monitors. So, you know, it's it's all in all quite a quite a good detail. It's also compatible with Shader Model 4, which is gives you faster playback of video. It also comes with PCI Express. Now, PCI Express is a relatively new technology which you'll find right here. This is the PCI Express. And what it does is basically powers the card so it will run much faster. And believe me, I am impressed with PCI Express. It has completely replaced um, CNR and, and, and PCI, which all connect buses to different lanes on the motherboard. Now, also, the, 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 the cooling system on this card is quite efficient. The fan is very, very quiet. It sits at about, around about zero decibels and spins at 80,000 RPM. You can see the plastic covering with flames. It just looks amazing in, in a case that has a glass window. Um, also, if you look at the back of the card, you can see it's quite a well-constructed model. It has the newer, it has, it has the newer interface for enabling faster graphics, um, and it has a black thing. This also keeps it keeps it quite cool. And that's all we have to say about the card. Now for performance reviews. Hi. Now for performance reviews of the HD 2900 XT. As you can see, we have the card here running. It's running quite well. It's good ventilation, um, quite, a, quite a quiet fan, um, and we have it in the latest motherboard with the latest processor. Um, it is a Pentium 500. It's running at 500 mega uh, m megahertz. Um, we also have the latest sound card, Sound Blaster. Um, we have a very, very powerful hard drive. It's running quite fast. Um, and, yeah, we're just about to check out some games and, and see how the 2900 XT runs. So if you just look up... Okay. Uh, well, we're going to test out Halo CE for a start. This is the latest game that is out. It's a very, very demanding game. And we have the latest monitor here, a 25-inch LCD. Um, so just to see how it will run on the, um, on the, 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 uh, hang on, um, oh, I don't know what that was, uh, just, uh, just configure the monitor, so, um, yeah, we've also, see, you know, I've got quite a, a lot of RAM in this, in this rig here, this will mean that the performance and the graphics will look much better, with more RAM the graphics just looks crisper, mm. so, it shouldn't take long to load, We'll be into Halo in no time. So yeah, it's, it's, the 2900 XT is a, is a very good card. Um, it's not too expensive. Around about uh, you can you can pick it up on eBay for about fifty dollars. Um, so yeah, it's a quite a cheap graphics card. It's it's quite it's one of the low end cards, but it's still quite good. So let's just load a map, create a server here. Yeah, uh, I'm running at the highest resolution, 640 times 400. It's a very good resolution. Um, let's just load map here. Load ice fields. 
No, this is this is quite good. And it's I'm just gonna see how it runs.